no answer to this question or if you don't answer try to wonder about it how is it that you have a sense of me you have an sense of existence you know that you exist you know that you exist that is the most fundamental feeling actually how is it that you know that you exist is it because you are seeing the body is it because of a particular sound a particular visual a particular touch experience that you know you exist or is it because you have the sense of existence because of that you experience the body which one is more fundamental it is something like the example i was telling you are sitting in a dark room where you cannot suppose your all skin has gone numb there is actually a disease like that there is a disease in neurology you lose sense of the body completely meaning they lose the sense that the body belongs to them they lose that ability because this, this uh, touch sensation is gone completely so suppose all your skin has gone numb and you are you are blind you are deaf no sensation there is no sensation you you are not even sensing your body what is it that you are sensing how do you have the sense of existence the sense of existence is not happening because you are seeing something or hearing something that's a core experience it is it is staying at the center it is not a process between two it's not that you see this and because of that you know you exist sense of existence is at the core are you following so it's yeah i don't want to call it anything meaning <laughs> <laughs> sense of existence is not because of this process it is not because of the body or the mind there is something at the center which knows that it exists i don't want to depict it but this is the this is the closest depiction in in uh, mathematics geometry you have different forms and shapes and the first fundamental thing that it is the dot when you go to primary school dot is the fundamental uh, geometric shape there is something peculiar about the dot which nobody gives a thought to a dot exists but it is dimensionless it doesn't have any dimension it is both existing as as good as not existing dot can for the sake of showing we make it large and make it a circle but really a dot has no existence but still it exists <laughs> so you can't quantify a dot its existence it's just existence you can't quantify it you can quantify only shapes which are rooted in that meaning everything starts with a dot meaning all dots put together you get line you get circle or forms whatever but everything finally is made up of dots and dots are dimensionless from dimensionless entity you get an illusion of dimension that is how they teach dot geometry if you remember first is dot and then they say a series of dots is a line so from a dimensionless thing you get dimension two dimension three dimension but it is rooted in dimensionless entity is it too heavy okay so you if you want to represent yourself you are a dot and dot can't be harmed it can't be touched it it is immutable it can't be modified in any way because it doesn't have a form the people gave it different different names they called it consciousness awareness that dot doesn't have to communicate to itself something it stays at the root only it doesn't have to talk to itself by making a projection and then seeing it back it can be aware of itself at the root itself this is the process of absorption seeing yourself as that center point that is why in uh, scriptures they use the word heart this has gone to english from this only probably in sanskrit it's called as hrit hrit means center this in english has become heart so whenever they speak of heart in spirituality they mean the central point you 
that speaking of you and the peculiar thing is when you cannot quantify something when you cannot quantify something and it still exists it is infinity it is existing for sure and you are unable to quantify it that means what it's not a finite thing but it is existing so you can't say it is zero zero means absence there is no existence but here for sure it is existing but you can't quantify it you can measure what you are conscious of a particular form with thought you quantify what is the intensity what is the size whatever but the source dot which is aware of it the awareness cannot be quantified so you are basically something immeasurable if it is too heavy you can leave it let it aside but to get huh it's simple also but it's difficult to get that perspective sometimes because they try to think of infinity yeah. they again try to think of infinity like in that cloud you don't have to th- that is the basic disease of the mind any uh, basic disease that's called uh, avidya when <laughs> when you, when we say you are infinity why do you have to think of it when you are already that when you are already a dot you don't have to think and imagine what infinity is you have to actually stop imagining everything you will realize that you are that if you remove all this if you get rid of this if you stop playing movies and remove remain as the source you will understand whatever it has to be because it is already that way <laughs>